Employee infections are happening at more and more places. It is not just Macy's and detention centers. Christian Von Pricing picks up our coverage with more on employee rights. It's all new at 10. We've been getting more and more emails from you, concerns about COVID in the workplace. The laws that protect you are complicated, but it's important information if you're working right now or if you manage a workplace. As COVID spreads, an old federal protection is relevant now. You need to be able to, to go to work. You need to, to be safe. I mean, these are laws going back to the you know, 19th century. We're speaking to Zone Win, a Laredo labor attorney. For people who are concerned, is there anything that they should know right now? That well, there are protections. Uh, the employee does not have to be in danger uh, for themselves or for others, and even for those uh, family members at home. Those protections come from OSHA and the Americans with Disabilities Act. Wynn says there aren't any relevant state laws or executive rules that apply to COVID. Attorneys now interpreting the old federal laws during this time. How do we determine what's reasonable and what's not necessary? How I see it is if someone is tested positive, but you know they, they've come to work in the past seven days, then others need to be notified of a possible contact. Some Valley employees we've heard from concerned COVID cases where they work aren't being acknowledged. And they're saying, I'm concerned about speaking up about this because my employer is not doing anything about this. So what about retaliation for those people? Well, they're protected if they're notifying uh, a public health agency. As far as whistleblower goes, it has to be uh, a notice or complaint filed with an outside agency that has law enforcement authority. Following a positive case, your employer should be following what health professionals recommend, he says. Disinfect, uh, air out the, the, the space, but then uh, have that employee stay home on, on quarantine. Old federal protections that can be enforced. How does that guarantee them a safe workplace? Agencies can, can come in and fine or sue in their own right. The EEOC can sue the employer, but then the employees can also have their private causes of action. But that enforcement can take time, especially now, when it encourages you to be direct and speak openly with your employer about what's going on. Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News at 10.